Hey guys, Dusty and Aaron here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go over our top seven ways to boost your immune system. We are also going to touch on some more blood results that we have recently gotten back. So we are not licensed healthcare practitioners. That being said, we are going to share our experience and what has worked for us and what we're currently doing to boost our immunity. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Something that I just heard yesterday that I was really interested by and felt like I really needed to share. In fact, I texted Aaron. I was listening to a podcast on my drive and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to send some of this to Aaron. The best thing or one of the best things to bolster your immune system is to fix your gut. So many Americans and people all around the world for that matter have leaky gut or issues with their gut. Our gut lining is only one cell thick and apparently it's the size of a tennis court, okay? So there are more cells in your gut or more microorganisms in your gut than there are cells in our entire body. These little guys are what are, what are taking care and protecting us from pathogens, illnesses, basically any and everything. Our microbiome takes care of it and they see it first. So what you wanna do is fix your gut. Some of the things you can do are to steer clear of gluten, stay clear of sugar. Sugar is terrible for you, and I'm not just talking about refined sugars and like candy bars. I'm talking about white breads and pastas because these can be even more concentrated and turn into sugar in the body even faster than table sugar. So clean up your diet. Do like Aaron and I have been saying for years, eat these whole plant foods. Fruits, vegetables, leafy greens, all of those. Something else you can do is use a probiotic. This is something we've both done for years. We're gonna link our favorite probiotic in the description below, one that we really highly recommend and love, so check that out. Okay, so we're gonna talk about a couple things to eat for gut health. Fiber-rich foods like red cabbage are prebiotics for the probiotics in your gut. Those probiotics need fuel and these leafies and these super fiber rich foods are great for that. You can also eat kimchi and other fermented foods and or beverages. Something that we really like is apple cider vinegar. We make a fizzy water every night, just some carbonated water, and we put a little shot of apple cider vinegar in it, and it does wonders for your gut health. As you guys know, I've suffered with acid reflux, heartburn, all of these things for many years. I was on medications for many years, and I no longer am because of my fiber-rich, whole food, plant-based diet. And again, I love the way that this apple cider vinegar kind of fizzes. You just feel it go to work. Our secret recipe is like a full glass of carbonated water with like maybe a half shot of apple cider vinegar and it tastes just like kombucha, but it's not sugary like kombucha. Kombucha is made with sugar. This stuff is not. And again, you can read up on apple cider vinegar and find it in a ton of recipes and read about the plethora of remedies. It's been like used for thousands and thousands of years. So anyway, fix your gut, boost your immune system. Moving on to number two, nourish and supplement. So now that we know that refined processed packaged foods are unhealthy for your gut, we can look more at some other foods to incorporate into your diet as well as supplements. So as far as whole foods, we obviously want to be looking at super colorful, fresh, fruits and vegetables either in their raw state or lightly cooked, something like steamed. This is going to allow our bodies to absorb and utilize as many of those beneficial nutrients in these foods as possible. So of course we've been making lots of healthy green juices and green smoothies and rainbow salads, but on top of that, some foods that are of utmost importance that we're paying extra close attention to are foods that are anti-inflammatory like ginger and turmeric and then other foods that have antibacterial, antiviral properties like onions and garlic. So we're always incorporating those into our cooked dinners and we just absolutely love the way that all of these foods make us feel, especially ginger and turmeric. If you do a shot of something like that, you will definitely get a jolt and feel a lot better afterwards. Particular nutrients of importance would be vitamin D. So we are always making sure to supplement our vitamin D as Dusty said, we will link any products that we are using below so you guys can check those out if you're interested in. So we take vitamin D daily and there has been a lot of clinical research and studies around vitamin C. So high doses of vitamin C can be really beneficial 
really beneficial at combating this virus. So we recommend taking a supplement as well as upping your dosage of those vitamin C rich foods. We have a bowl that is always ripe with tons of citrus fruits and we love kiwis as well. There are also tons of vegetables like bell peppers that are really high in vitamin C. So again, just making sure to get those colorful foods in. On top of that, another supplement that you might be interested in is zinc. So there have also been recent studies showing that zinc may be very beneficial at combating coronavirus. So if you have those bases covered, then you can kind of play around with other superfoods and supplements that might help as well. We love to put powders and all kinds of different things into our smoothies. So one of my favorite superfoods is actually incredibly rich in vitamin C, and I know I've mentioned it to you guys in the past. It is called Camu Camu. So it has 780% plus vitamin C in just one teaspoon. So it's a great powder to add into smoothies. You can also look into medicinal mushrooms. So chaga is one that is extremely beneficial for your immune system. There's also reishi, cordyceps, lion's mane. We'll link our favorites below. We love to incorporate them into hot teas and beverages. Final couple of nutrients or supplements that might be beneficial would be zinc and selenium. So we take one Brazil nut a day, which will give you about 500% of your selenium. So I would invest in that because it's great for your immune system as well as zinc. So there have been a lot of studies coming up as of late around zinc being really beneficial for combating this particular virus as well as others. So a lot of people say that it's hard to obtain zinc from a vegan diet, but let me just list off a few to show you guys how easy it can be. Beans, chickpeas, lentils, tofu, walnuts, cashew nuts, chia seeds, uh, hemp seeds, pumpkin seeds, wholemeal bread, and quinoa. So you can see there are tons of sources. Make sure you're getting plenty of those in your diet. So just to recap, vitamin D, vitamin C, zinc, selenium, and maybe some of these other superfoods that I mentioned. Okay, so number three is manage your stress, something that I definitely have to work on. I get stressed out super easily. I've got a million thoughts in my head and a million things to do, and Max is running around, and Bo's making a mess, and anyway, it's very easy to be stressed, coupled with the anxiety from what's going on in our world right now, being stuck in the house, it's all very difficult. So you have to manage your stress. That being said, Erin and I actually got a cortisol test done from Let's Get Checked. You guys know Let's Get Checked from some previous videos that we've done. We really seriously love this company. They do at-home testing. We've done thyroid testing, which has been really beneficial because I've had issues with my thyroid rate recently also. And again, so we did the cortisol test and not surprisingly, both of ours were just a hair high. So just barely outside the, the threshold there, but yeah, we we're like a little bit stressed out. And again, this time is a tricky one. So do whatever you can to manage your stress. Science shows that when you are in a state of stress or high cortisol, it lowers your ability to fight things like sickness, cold, etc. So stay happy, stay healthy, manage your stress, and just stay calm. A few things that help me manage my stress are to work out, but not too hard. So some days I get like, I'm just feeling awesome, and I go super hard in the gym, I'm hitting the punching bag and doing all this stuff, and then I crash, I feel really crappy afterward, and then I get stressed. So. You wanna exercise, but don't get too much exercise. Something else, you wanna avoid stimulants like coffee or caffeine or even too much dark chocolate. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm super sensitive. And if I eat too much cacao or chocolate at night, like I can't sleep and boom, skipping sleep or getting not enough sleep definitely will skyrocket your um, cortisol. So something else, that I know Aaron struggles with is when you wake up in the morning, not grabbing your phone right away and just getting going like crazy. So whether it's your finances or your job or whatever it is that's stressing you out on top of this, this whole situation we're in right now with coronavirus, just try to remain calm. We're all in this together and yeah, keep your stress manageable. So I'm actually gonna pull up the Let's Get Checked app. Again, this company's awesome. So I'm gonna show you guys my recent test results. My testosterone went up to like 600, which is higher than it's ever been, which is good news for me. Again, my thyroid, I've had a few things 
um, off in the past, but overall things are looking pretty good. Cortisol, okay, high. It just barely is outside the range. It's funny because the threshold is 18.4 and mine is 19 and Aaron's actually was 19 too. So we're just barely outside the normal range. But anyway, again, super easy. You can actually contact or request a call with the doctor there. A nurse calls every time your results come in. And again, I just like having all of my tests there. Okay, so I will pull up my tests too really quick for you guys. So you can see, like Dusty said, my cortisol was slightly high as well. And in our next tip, we will actually share with you guys how we are addressing our cortisol. So my iron was slightly, slightly low in the last video and I got a little bit of flack for that. <laughs> but you can see it's perfectly normal now. And I had my thyroid tested because I was a little concerned, but everything was normal and I'm feeling great. So right now it can be super easy and effortless to be able to get tested at home, not only to make sure that everything is in check for the sake of your immune system, but also if you are new to this vegan or plant-based lifestyle. That's also a reason that drew Dusty and I into Let's Get Checked. So we thought we'd share it with you guys because it can help to kind of fill in the gaps and become more educated about your body. We're dorks, we love having our blood work done. Even though I'm not a huge blood guy, I felt like I was gonna pass out when I did the test. But anyway, if you guys want to try, let's get checked. Again, they have a whole bunch of tests. Use our discount code MOVE20 for 20% off. So tip number four is to practice mindfulness, meditation, and spirituality. Like I had just said in our previous tip about cortisol and reducing your stress levels, aside from getting rid of things that are mental, emotional, and physical stressors, there are also things you can do to add in and add value to your life that are going to reduce your stress and also help to boost your mood. So lately I've been getting back into using some meditation techniques and actually been using a form of therapy called cognitive behavioral therapy. So Dusty initially had told me about this and now we're both doing it through an app on our phones. We'll link it below. Cognitive has to do with your mind and the thoughts and the fears, the anxieties, feelings and emotions that run through it. And behavioral obviously has to do with your behaviors or your reactions to your mind and your thoughts. Therapy is doing the work to get through it. So cognitive behavioral therapy has really helped us out a lot to manage our cortisol and our stress levels and just to prevent any possible future tripping, which can be really easy in times like this where we don't really know what the outcomes are going to be. So again, I'm gonna to refer to my phone because I'm not an expert and I thought this really encompassed and summed it up really well. So it says that cognitive behavioral therapy is a short-term goal-oriented psychotherapy treatment that takes a hands-on approach. So a practical approach to problem solving. Its goal is to change patterns of thinking or behavior that are behind our difficulties and so to change the way that we feel. So you can see how that can really impact your cortisol and stress levels. And outside of that, besides just mindfulness and meditation, something that Dusty and I have always held very close to our hearts and is of utmost importance is spirituality. So practicing um, being very prayerful and vigilant and staying in tune with our faith. So we are so beyond blessed right now to be able to have all of these live streams, these online church services, worship services. So whatever you identify with, um, just make sure to really keep in touch with your higher power and just be thankful and grateful simply for your breath because that's something right now that a lot of people maybe have taken for granted and now are suffering without. So mindfulness, meditation, work through those thoughts and feelings however best serves you and stay in touch with God. Go. Okay, Aaron is instructing me to take my hat off um, and my hair is really poofy. So anyway, we're gonna try it. Number five, learn to disconnect and get adequate rest. So just right off the bat, I'm gonna say disconnecting is something that we have not done very well for a very long time and that we're just recently trying to do. So the other day, we actually did a digital detox. We didn't use our phones or anything for the entire day. It was crazy, but we felt so good. It's actually more of a dopamine detox where you can go one step further and not eat like tasty foods and not read books and like not do anything that really stimulates your mind and or your body 
to therefore be more sensitive to those things in a good way in the future. So beyond that, we've also started disconnecting our Wi-Fi at night. So with all of this crazy conspiracy theories going on about 5G, whether or not that stuff's real or fake, I think that it is important to turn the Wi-Fi off and unplug certain things like next to your bed that could be sending off these EMFs during the night. We've started doing that recently and I have actually slept pretty darn good. That being said, Erin has also said she specifically is trying to get an extra 30 minutes of rest every night and that doesn't bother me. She's usually the first one up and the longer she sleeps, the longer I sleep. So I'm all for it. So definitely get extra rest and that will help more than anything to boost your immune system. And putting my hat back on, if you guys would also like to uh, like to hear us talk more about the dopamine detox and or the digital detox, we thought about making an actual video about it. So it might be cheating because we, we thought about filming it, but I think that we can make a really cool video about it. So if you guys want to learn more or see us do that, comment below. Tip number six is to get outside daily. So that has become one of our non-negotiables, especially since we've been quarantined. So getting outside daily, first and foremost, is going to give you that natural boost of vitamin D from the sun. So vitamin D, like we said before, is super important for your immune system. Not only that, but you'll be getting a healthy dose of fresh air healthy oxygen into your lungs that's going to help eliminate any toxins and just help to boost your mood. So maybe you're working from home and it's still difficult to get outside or you're not doing it as much as you would like. You can do something as simple as opening a window to let some fresh air flow throughout your home. There's nothing worse for your body than recycled, air conditioned, or heated air. So open those windows, it's springtime, soak it all up, and if you can, soak up the sun. And also on that note, Dusty had mentioned Wi-Fi. So if you are working from home or you're on your devices all day, something as simple as taking your socks and shoes off and going outside and going barefoot in the grass otherwise called earthing or grounding, can help to eliminate some of those negative effects from all of those crazy ions and the EMFs that Dusty mentioned. It can really help to reverse any negative impacts that these devices might be having in your body. Dusty shared with me from this podcast that he recently listened to that we're kind of interested in exploring more of and doing more research on is that they're saying you can mega dose with vitamin D without overdosing on it and it can be really beneficial for your immune system. So upwards of 10,000 IU a day and I can attest that I have been taking several thousand IU a day, especially since breastfeeding and it's transferring through my breast milk to max. So maybe do more research on that. That's something we're interested in learning more about. But like we said, getting outside is gonna be the best way to get your vitamin D. In fact, we had an 80 degree spring day the other day and we both stripped down to our swimsuits and laid out and got some sun for a little bit. And finally, so this isn't getting outside per se, but something we have in our bathroom is a box light that simulates natural daylight. And it just really, I've noticed, has helped both of us to feel more awake and more energized first thing in the morning. So get one of those lights, switch it on, and it can also help to boost your mood. Okay, so our final tip, number seven, for boosting your immunity is to, like we said earlier, get some exercise, get that body moving. So while Aaron just said that we did have like an 80 or 90 degree day the other day, it has been 40 degrees since. And while we do have our little garage gym that we like to use, it's been almost impossible to get outside. But we do any and everything to get moving and get sweating. Like I said before, not doing too much to wear yourself out, but getting to the point where you are raising your body temperature. Aaron also mentioned that raising your temperature, similar to that of a fever, is actually helping your body to fight whatever may already be in your system. So get that body temp raise, get the sweat dripping a little bit, and keep moving every single day. It just makes you feel good and will keep you healthy too. All right, you guys, so there you have it. Your top seven tips brought to you by Eat, Move, Rest, <laughs> yours truly, <laughs> yo, yo. to help you get through this pandemic, through coronavirus, COVID-19. 
Oh man, all the hashtags. I'm getting tired of seeing them. <laughs> what a mess. My mood and everything has been like a roller coaster. One day I'm like, this is cool, we're fine. The next day I'm like, okay, the conspiracies are really getting to me. Um, I don't know what to do. So anyway, try to keep level. All of these things should hopefully help. Yeah, so the media is sending mixed messages. We all have mixed emotions. It's yeah. just a jumble of mixed up messiness right now. Yeah, it is. But if you can try and stay on track with some of these tips, tricks, and tools, hopefully that'll help keep your immune system boosted. Yep. We're all in this together. The weather is getting warmer. The yes. sun is getting brighter. So I think we're all on the mend here. So Good do your best during this time to make the most of it create something beautiful, inspire others around you, and stay really connected to those that you care about. That's something that has really helped us a lot, especially being connected with our Eat, Move, Rest fam. Yeah. We should all be super grateful for technology right now. Yeah, so it, again, we talk about Wi-Fi and, and our, our phones and all of these electronics, but honestly, being able to text and FaceTime. We've kept in touch with everybody from Costa Rica on our retreat. One of the nurses, in fact, is a traveling nurse. She's been in Seattle, now New York City, helping the uh, coronavirus victims. Julie, shout out to you because you're a <laughs> saint and amazing. But yeah, just everybody that we've been able to keep in touch with, you know, thank God for technology because it would be really hard to actually be fully isolated. So mm -hmm. if you know someone who's alone, and lonely or someone who's sick and maybe needs something, figure out how to give them a hand or give them a call. And like Aaron said, we're all in this together and we'll make it out together too, so. Until next time, we love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Make sure that bell is clicked. You'll get notified when we put out new information, new videos on this channel and Leave us some love in the comments below and yes. start a conversation with each other. Share any helpful updates that you might have, what you're doing to boost your immunity, especially yep. during these trying times. And share this with a family family member or a friend who yeah. might find this information helpful as well. Definitely. Sharing the, our videos is the biggest way to help us and to help our message reach more people, which is good for us. So please share <laughs> this, keep in touch, and eat, move, rest your best. Bye guys. Stay healthy, stay safe. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.